Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I am Hafiz Raheedullah. Today we will study saponin glycosides and it's our lecture number two. First of all, we will look at the outline of today's lecture. In today's lecture, we will study introduction to saponin glycosides, crude drugs included in saponin glycosides, geological sources and geographical distribution of saponin glycosides, and at the end, we will study chemical composition and medicinal uses of saponin glycosides. Learning outcomes for this lecture. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to define and describe the saponin glycosides and you will be also able to describe the biological source, geographical distribution, chemical composition and structure of the main active constituents present in the glyceriza and sarsaprilla and you will also be able to understand the therapeutic and pharmaceutical uses of glyceriza and sarsaprilla. First of all, we will define saponin glycosides. What are saponin glycosides and why are they named so? So saponin glycoside, the glycosides which when shaken with water produce persistent froth are called saponin glycosides. They act as surfactant and reduce the surface tension. They have a bitter, acrid taste. And another property of saponin glycoside is that they are sternotatory. Drugs containing saponin glycosides are usually sternotatory. Sternotatory are the compounds which are causing or resulting in sneezing and they are also irritating to the mucous membrane. Further properties of saponin glycosides are that they, they destroy red, red blood corpuscles by hemolysis. Hemolysis word is derived from two words, heme mean blood and lysis mean breakdown, breakdown of the blood. So saponin glycoside, they destroy red blood corpuscles by hemolysis and are very toxic to toxic and especially to cold blooded animals like amphibians and reptiles. Many saponins are used as fish poison too. The more poisonous saponins are often called sapotoxin. And remember one point that a glycone part is called sapogenin. Crude drugs containing saponin glycosides are glyceriza and sarsaprilla. Now we will study one by one first glyceriza and then we will study sarsaprilla and their pharmacognostic characteristics, their chemical nature and medicinal uses also. Glyceriza which are also known malati in the Urdu language. Glyceriza or licorice root is the dried rhizome and roots of glyceriza glabra or of glyceriza glabra vernacular glandulifera or of other varieties of Glyceriza glabra that yield a yellow and sweet wood. So glyceriza is maybe is it may be root or maybe a dry rhizome and its color is yellow and this crude drug is very sweet also known as sweet wood and belonging to family leguminosae. Drug obtained from glyceriza glabra is known in commerce as Spanish licorice. Glyceriza glabra in the commerce is available in two forms or in two varieties. One is Spanish licorice and other one is Russian licorice. Drug which is obtained from Glyceriza glabra is known in the commerce as Spanish licorice and drug obtained from Glyceriza glabra vernacular glandulifera is known in commerce as Russian licorice. This is the picture of stem leaves and flower of glyceriza glabra. Remember these structures, they will help in the identification of glyceriza glabra wherever they are grown. After looking at the plant of glyceriza glabra, you will identify that that is glyceriza glabra. Look at the flower and also on the structure of leaves and memorize it. It will help you in future inshallah. And this is the picture in which dry rhizome of glyceriza glabra is shown. Also memorize it. 
Preparation. How can we prepare Glyceriza glabra? Preparation of Glyceriza glabra consists of four parts. Number one, root and rhizome is removed. Root or rhizome is removed from three to four year old plant. And remember this, three to four year plant will yield the desired compound. Because if you uh, take the root or rhizome of the plant which is not mature enough or it is not of three to four years old, it will not have sweet constituents. So we are to wait for three to four years to get glycerizer as a crude drug. Then roots are dug preferably in autumn. And remember rhizome three to four years after and roots are dug preferably in autumn because in the autumn they have maximum sweetness. After getting or after cutting or after digging roots, they are washed and dried in shade for four to six months for the purpose of curing, curing is slow drying in which precursor compounds are converted into actual compound which we desire. After four to six months, they are packed into bales or cut and tied into short cylindrical bundles and after that they are dispatched to final destination where they are sold. Chemical constituents which are present in Glycera glybra. Glycerizin is the main components, main active components which is pharmaceutically or therapeutically active is glycerizin and it is also called as glycerizic acid. It is a saponin glycoside and it is 50 times as sweet as sugar. A glycon part is glyceritic acid. Upon hydrolysis, the glycoside glycerizin is converted to a glycone glyceritic acid plus two molecules of glucuronic acid and loses its sweet taste and other, and other constants which are present in glycera glybra are liquidatin, isoliquidatin, liquidatoside, isoliquidatoside, glucose, mannitol and starch. This is the structure of glycerizin which is the active constant in the glyceriza glabra. This is the A-glycone part which is known as glyceritic acid and this glycerit glyceritic acid is linked to two glucuronide. Now what is glucuronide? We have studied earlier that whenever the terminal hydroxyl group is oxidized and it is converted into acid, this is known as uronic acid. Because this molecule is glucose, the formed uronic acid is known as glucuronic acid. So in glycerizin, two glucuronide, two glucuronic acids are, or two glucuronides are attached to a glyco part, which is known as glyceritic acid. So this is the structure of glycerizin. Now we'll study the medicinal uses of glyceriza glabra. Glyceriza glabra used as demulcent. Demulcents are those compounds or those chemical constituents which have ability to soothe the mucous membrane. So they are used for the soothness of mucous membrane. The second use is expectorant. They are used as expectorant. Expectorant are those antitussive drugs which are used in the productive cuff to expel out the sputum. Glycerizer glabra is also used to treat peptic ulcer because it is sweet. So it is used as flavoring, flavoring and sweetening agent to mask bitter taste of other drugs. Glycerizer glabra is also used as surfactant and this property facilitates the absorption of poorly absorbed drug. So it is also used as surfactant. And other uses of glycerizer glabra are that it is used as anti-inflammatory and as an anti-inflammatory it is used in the dermatological practices. Glycerizer increases sodium and fluid retention and promotes potassium depletion. Clinical guidelines. Clinical guideline means that before using it clinically, we must consider these points. A person which is suffering from cardiac problems and hypertension should avoid consumption of significant quantities of liquorice. In small quantity, it may not be harmful, but if it is used in the higher quantity or in the maximum dose, it can cause a different problem for the patient who is suffering from cardiac problems or hypertension. So it must be avoided in that case. The second drug which is included in saponin glycoside is sarsaparilla. 
synonyms for sarsaprilla is smilex medica it means that sarsaprilla is also known as smilex medica biological source of sarsaprilla it consists of dry roots of smilex or or netta okay belonging to family liliaceae you must remember that uh, glycyza glabra belong to family leguminaceae and sarsaprilla belong to family liliaceae the drug is nearly odorless but has a sweetish and acrid taste geographical distribution smilex is a genus of about 350 species found in temperate tropical and subtropical zones of the world the plants belonging to this genus are found throughout asia europe oceania and the americas both in north and south america this is a picture of this is a picture of smilex look into the leaf of this plant and also the fruits which are looking like berries this is a picture of roots of smilex which are dried and cut into small pieces chemical constituents the main constituent is a saponin glycoside salsa salsa ponin which on hydrolysis yield salsa saponin and dextrose the sugar molecule or glycone part in sarsaprilla is dextrose while in the glycyrrhiza glabra that was glucuronide it also contains a small proportion of starch salicylic acid and fatty acids palmitic stearic behenic oleic and also linoleic acids this is the chemical structure of sarsa ponin this part is a glycone part which is called sarsa ponin oh sorry sarsa saponin and this is the dextrose dextrose and sarsa saponin combine to form sarsa ponin medicinal uses of sarsaprilla sarsaprilla is used to treat syphilis it has it is also used in rheumatism and also used in certain skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema it is widely used as a vehicle and large quantities are employed in the manufacture of non alcoholic drinks summary what we have learned in this two days lecture first we learned that saponin glycosides produce persistent froth when shaken with water and they are named for this property as saponin glycoside a glycone part is called saponin glycyrrhiza and sarsaprilla are the crude drugs which contain saponin glycosides the main active constituents of glycyrrhiza is glycyrrhizin which is also called as glycyrrhizic acid and the main constituents of sarsaprilla is salsa ponin which on hydrolysis yield salsa saponin and dextrose further we studied the medicinal or therapeutic uses of these crude drugs glycyrrhiza is used as demulcent expectorant and to treat peptic ulcer while sarsaprilla is used as flavoring agent and sweetening agent surfactant to treat syphilis in rheumatism and to treat certain skin diseases textbooks which you must read while preparation for the exam following books were considered during lecture to enhance your knowledge and i recommend that you must read chapter of glycoside from these books too books are these number 1 trees and evans pharmacognosy author name evans w c the second book you must go through is textbook of pharmacognosy which is written by muhammad ali and third version third one is pharmacognosy by vero e tyler these are the books you which must must buy or uh, at least you must have soft copies or at least you must go through uh, the digital library where they are, where they are uploaded thank you for listening write any question pertaining to this lecture on the google classroom discussion board or you can also write in the stream line of the google classroom jazakallahu khair